We've shown you in recent weeks footage of this sort of highly dangerous and illegal stunt driving that has communities across the GTA fearing for their safety on our roads as well as the safety of bystanders. Today we learned of a collaborative police effort across numerous jurisdictions to put a stop to it. Project Drift brought together Peel Regional Police, York Regional Police, the OPP, as well as Toronto Police. They joined forces to send a strong message that this sort of threat to public safety will not be tolerated. Those who choose to have a blatant disregard for community safety by engaging in these types of illegal activities need to be reminded of the consequences of their actions and is why we're here united today. The community has had enough and so have we. It's not just this sort of stunt driving or drifting the police are cracking down on. It's organized illegal street racing and car rallies that take over intersections that sometimes draw hundreds of spectators. Every single year, people of all ages are killed and countless lives are profoundly impacted because of aggressive drivers behind the wheel. Individuals who speed excessively, engage in racing and stunt driving are among the most dangerous drivers on our roads. Police forces have seen what they call stunning increases in this sort of behavior in recent months, thanks in part to the pandemic lockdown. In York Region, for example, there's been a 128% jump in charges in the first six months of 2020. But as the videos show, these groups do not submit to law enforcement quietly. Event goers defiantly surrounding a marked police car, damaging it. A number of different tactics were also used to avoid detection. When police responded to these rallies, Organizers would simply direct racers to a new location, traveling between York and Peel regions along the 400 series highway, highways to avoid us. Joining forces with Peel and the OPP on Project Drift strengthened the enforcement efforts of all three police services. Project Drift has targeted some of the most prolific organized groups, one known as TO Takeovers, another called 416 Wolfpack. Six men have been arrested and 40 charges laid, but investigators recognize it only makes a dent in a much larger problem. Police said today these racing organizers seem to get little else out of these events other than publicity or so-called street cred. It's not clear what penalties the suspects will face if convicted, but it could range from fines to jail time. I'm Pam Seidel, City News.